Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I'm going to take you through a quick tip video. These are going to be a little bit different from my full-on tutorial videos. You'll see me in the bottom left-hand corner here. I'm shooting it with Loom, a tool I really love. Uh, and they're a, a, a little quicker, a little maybe less polished than my tutorial videos. But I am highlighting a tool that I recently discovered or I've been using and really like. So if you like these kind of videos, do me a favor and click the thumbs up down below to let me know. Leave a comment on a tool maybe you want to see or a question you have about something I'm doing. And just let me know if you like this format. Okay, so let's jump into it. I recently switched to Castos to host my podcast. So since How I Built It launched in 2016, I was being hosted on Libsyn for the audio host. I was using the WordPress plugin PowerPress to manage all that. And I built my own kind of extension for PowerPress. And that all changed recently when I switched to Castos. So I changed everything. I'm using the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin now. Uh, I am hosting my audio on Castos. It's tighter integration. The team there is fantastic. And uh, shout out to Matt Medeiros for getting the ball rolling there. Uh, one of the things I loved about PowerPress, though, was their subscribe widget or subscribe short code. So this one is a little bare, but you can use a short code to generate a subscribe box that has all of the services that you might want here, and you can place it with a short code or a block on any page of your website. So this is what I was using in two places. I was using it in an off canvas menu, subscribe menu, and I was using it right on the subscribe page. So I needed a way to replace this. And I, I thought I was just going to code it myself maybe uh, and style it. But I found this fantastic plugin called Pod, Podcast Subscribe Buttons from Second Line Themes. Now, Second Line Themes makes podcasting themes. I tried them out. Um, I have opinions. I they, it, they seem to rely heavily on Elementor, and I'm not an Elementor guy. So I don't use their themes, but I love this plugin. So let's go ahead and see it in action. Uh, if I go to my website and I click the subscribe button here, you'll see the off canvas show up. You'll see the subscribe buttons here, which are great. Sorry, my head's in the way of some of them. Uh, that's why I usually, oh, I can move myself. So I'll move myself over here for the time being. Uh, so the, these are the subscribe buttons and it even includes YouTube, which is just fantastic. Uh, so that's the first place I have them. And then I will close this. I'll move myself back to where I was. And if I go to the subscribe page, you'll see that I've got a similar set of buttons. It's slightly different because it's got the join the mailing list button here, uh, even though the form is above. But uh, there, there are also different hover colors and things like that. And this is why I love the plugin so much because it's super flexible. So if I log into my dashboard here and I click the subscribe buttons menu item here on the left hand side towards the bottom I'll be brought to a section where I have these uh, different subscribe buttons that I can create so I've got the off canvas one I've got the subscribe widget and they have their own short codes so I can create as many of these as I want I can give it a title this looks like SEO stuff let me hide that can't believe that's being listed but you know prioritizes itself a little too high. Uh, so, uh, but I've got the subscribe buttons here. I can choose the text. I can choose if I want it to be a pop-up, inline buttons, just a list of buttons. So inline is what you saw on the subscribe page. List of buttons is what you saw in the off canvas widget or icons only, right? If I want to have maybe like footer icons uh, for a subscribe, I can do that here. I can choose the button style to rounded or rounded square. I can change the colors and then I could add all of the subscribe links. So here they have a list, a very long list, I should say, of uh, possible services where people can subscribe. They also have a custom link here at the bottom. And if you have a custom link, you can have a custom label. But 
that's it. You choose the platform, you choose the link for the platform. And if you did custom link, you would choose uh, a custom label. So once you do all of this, you have a short code, which you can then embed any place that sh supports short codes. If I go to my subscribe page, which is somewhere here. So this is using Beaver Builder. Sorry, I had an itch on my head there. Uh, this is using Beaver Builder. So we'll let Beaver Builder load here. I don't know what's taking so long. I probably got logged out of my site or something like that. Let's go back to the front end and, and do it there. So yeah, great. Okay, and so here, yeah, I just added the short code. Uh, I, now, I haven't tested it with the block editor. Let me just do that now while we're here. We'll go back into the WordPress admin. And I'll just, well, I don't want to do posts because that's this is a live site. This is just like a terrible way to test stuff. Uh, but if I open a new page and use the standard editor, let's see if I can podcast list. Note that is a list of podcast episodes. I suspect it's added by Castos. Subscribe. Nope. So it's just a short code right now. Uh, if I had to wager a guess, I'd say that block editor support is probably coming soon. Though I don't actually know the developer. Um, but the short code support is there and works fantastically. So again, big fan of this. It's super flexible. Let's get out of here. It's super flexible. I can create a bunch of different subscribe widgets and style them differently, have them in different areas of the site. And I think that's just great. So all in all, really happy with this find. Again, that's called Podcast Subscribe Buttons. It's by Second Line Themes. It is free in the WordPress plugin repository. So you can install it on your site by going to Plugins, Add New, and searching for the name podcast subscribe buttons thanks so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content